If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What is going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today we're going to check out what Zerz brought to the tower on the 31st of March 2017. Now it's located basically near the Crucible vendors. Now it took me about six attempts to go to the tower to actually get him to come. I don't even know why. I mean it's like he's 10 minutes late now. I mean motherfucker. Now but let's see what he has. Okay so... We have a legacy engram costing 29 strange motherfucking coins, which obviously you guys know will not give you year two and three. Yeah, so don't be buying this expecting that new shit. We have the rune wings for the titan offering 54 intellect and 57 strength. Um, ammo drops uh, more often. Heavy ammo that is. And contains more ammo in each drop. Increased reload speed with rocket launchers and increased melee attack speed. This will cost you 13 strange coins. We then have the Frost EE5s for the Hunter. These um, also cost me 13 Strange Coins, offering 71 Intellect and 74 Discipline. Jesus Christ, that's pretty good. Uh, while sprinting, gain tight return radius and faster grenade and melee regeneration. Increase the amount of fusion rifle ammunition you can carry and increase agility for 5 seconds after a solar double kill. For the Warlock, we have the Astral Sight Burst. This is a helmet, costing 13 Strange Coins, offering 58 Discipline and 63 Strength. Temporary increase to recovery on blink, gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness and gain bonus melee uh, energy on all pickups. Weapon of the week we have the Nolan motherfucking beyond my favourite weapon in the entire fucking game. But I have it so I don't need to buy it but it's definitely worth a purchase for them 23 strange coins if you have them spare. And these are the new exotic weapon bundles we have. We have the Monte Carlo and Royal Flush. You buy this for 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust. And you'll get the Monte Carlo and the Royal Flush ornament already applied to it. And for the same thing, we get the Zalo Superstar and the Shark Hazard. Now, the only ornament I want is the uh, No Land Beyond ornament. And until that shit comes, I ain't purchasing nothing. Not from these anyway, I ain't wasting my silver dust and I ain't wasting my strange coins because I got the Monte Carlo, I got the Zalo Supercell, which is a great weapon by the way. Um, especially with that Rainbow Nightfall today, this week, Jesus Christ it wrecks shit. Um, and as always we have the glass needles, we have the three coins, we have the heavy ammo packs, uh, three and ten. And we have the void drive and the emerald coils. Uh, we have the Mozart light and we have the exotic shards, but guys that is it. I was actually hoping these would be random, to be honest. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was hoping I could buy it and it would pop up random that way. Well, it's a bit smart on Bunch's behalf, get people to waste their strange coins and shit. But um, then again, Silver Dust isn't that easy to come by. So, yeah, it probably makes sense that they've done it like this. But yes, No Land Beyond is the only thing I'm waiting for. And until that day, I ain't buying nothing. But I actually will show you guys what these look like on screen now if you're curious to know what the Royal Flush looks like on the Monte Carlo. Fuck off, Age of Triumph, multiple records, bullshit. That fucking thing keeps popping up. And I'll show you what the Zero Supercell and Shock Hazard looks like as well. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny. Press that bell button next to that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And I will catch you on that next one. Always in